really just warm but crisp and clear as well and really full. It's a massive sound from a, a tiny amp as well, isn't it? When I first sort of hit it, it, it took me aback a bit how big a sound it is that's coming out because it, it, its size belies its, its capabilities. It feels, without even messing around with it, but it feels like it's going to be pretty, um, pretty versatile as well. You can, you can have too much control sometimes and you can actually lose the idea, especially when you're writing, you can lose the idea that you're working on getting carried away with trying to dial in a, a, a really specific sound and actually sometimes it's, it's right there. And it's got that ability to go, hasn't it? It's huge for a tiny amp, isn't it? You could apply it in a lot of places. You, doesn't look like a stage amp, but you could use that as a stage amp completely. But for writing, in a studio, I do a lot of writing in, in my home studio, and um, the, the key is versatility, of just being able to really quickly go, okay, I want roughly this sort of sound, and go, yeah, there it is, found it. I write with a strap, but being able to just plug in a strap and know you're gonna get, that, that sounds like a strap. It sounds like a strap through a really nice amp and with the minimum of fuss. It's really nice when, you, when you've got an amp as well that you don't have to drive it really hard, but you've got that versatility of if you play soft, it's crystal clear. If you give it a whack, it's just on the brink of breaking up. That's the, it's like photographers have that that golden moment of the day when the light's just right and that's, I think that's the amplification equivalent is being right on that brink of, of breaking up. It's quite hard to play enemy tunes without a fucking batshit mental drummer next to you smashing them out. <laughs>